quite pleasantly surprised to see how highly rated Mirror Mask is. This is the 2005 film directed by Dave McKean, written by McKean and Neil Gaiman. Obviously, if you say written by Neil Gaiman, you know you're going to be in for a bit of a treat anyway. And also Rob Brydon is in this, which I absolutely love. This is quite an unusual story. And I have to say, I'm not the biggest fan of fantasy. But there's something about this, and I think ultimately it's not so much the directing, the um, narrative, it's mainly the directing or the photography and also the special effects. I think it's just a visual treat. Nothing wrong with the narrative. I quite enjoyed it and thought it was quite suspenseful and unpredictable at times. But ultimately, the visual quality of this makes it something a little bit special. So, according to IMDb, in a fantasy world of opposing kingdoms, a 15-year-old girl must find the fabled mirror mask in order to save the kingdom and get home. I... I didn't really care about that quest. I'm not a quest film kind of person. But on this journey, we... It follows a girl called Helena. Perfect name. Uh, played played by Stephanie I think it's Leonidas. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. And she works for her family circus, which in itself is a pretty interesting com- uh, kind of concept that she's already working for a circus and then things take an even darker fantastical twist and she goes on this quest um, and meets all these fantastic kind of beings and creatures mythical for some of them some of them based on reality and she encounters all these individuals and I do have to say that a lot of these characters are really fascinating and there was this anticipation of ooh, I wonder who she's going to meet next And that was something that I found pretty exciting. So that part of the narrative I was interested in. I wasn't really bothered about, oh, when will she find this elusive mirror mask and what's it going to do? But the actual, the journey, I guess. The journey was interesting. The destination wasn't really in my mind that often. The characters are brilliant. The cast is equally as good uh, alongside Stephanie Leonidas. We have Rob Brown, who I just love Stephen Fry plays the librarian which is just so appropriate and and absolutely brilliant very well acted very well cast the costumes and the makeup you know absolutely sensational it is a visual delight costumes by Robert uh, Lever or Lever who has done costumes for quite a few things including Phoenix Knights, which I'm not a fan of, but I know a lot of people are. And it's good fun. You know, it's a fun film from the beginning to the end. I was engaged because the visual quality just kept me captivated. If you are a fantasy fan and you like quest films, then maybe the narrative is actually something that you're going to get a lot out of. Because although I wasn't that emotionally engaged in it, I did find that it was well developed. There didn't seem to be any plot holes. Maybe if you're a big diehard fantasy fan, you will read into it more than I did. But for me watching it, I thought it was pretty well developed and well done. I can't fault the film, really. You know, it's not its fault that I'm not the biggest um, fantasy fan. And the weird thing is, I don't remember why I watched this. I cannot recall why I would have watched this. I think maybe somebody gave me the DVD can't remember but either way glad I've seen it we'll probably never watch it again it was released in the UK the day after my 14th birthday I find that an interesting fact Mirror Mask is a good film will appeal to more to some people more than others but you know it's it's a Neil Gaiman based fantasy film can't really complain too much 